This video review is being brought to you by PrimeToys.net. PrimeToys.net, where you can get collect grade toys without the collect grade pricing. PrimeToys.net. And be sure to stick around to the end of this video review to get not one, but two codes to be used on PrimeToys.net for great discounts. And I'm a reviewer, so let the reviews be joined. Hey guys, your friend Donbot back yet again with another video review. And as you can see, we're going to finish off the Deluxe Class Wave 2 Titan Masters, or excuse me, Titan Returns figures. And we're going to look at the Decepticon Wolfwire, formerly known as Weird Wolf from the G1. And packaging here, we have Wolfwire in his robot mode, his beast mode, along with his little Titan Master Monox. I believe that's how you pronounce it. M-O-N-X-O. And he gives Wolfwire the power to rewind time in short bursts, but drains his energy to dangerously low levels. So it's definitely not the same name as the original G1 Headmaster, but it is also a kind of nice little power-up for him for Wolfwire or Weird Wolf. Uh, and this one, we got the same with the Wave 2 Deluxe figures uh, for Titans Returns. We got Skytread, the Titan Master. The other Deluxe class, Headmaster, or Titan Master, Titan Return Master, whichever you want to call them, of uh, Mindwipe. We got Astro Train, the Voyager. And we got Soundwave, the Leader class. But that's basically it for the packaging, aside from the fact that it takes 15 steps to transform Wolfwire into robot mode. And we're going to look at Wolfwire now. We'll just move the packaging out of the way and we'll get Wolfwire brought into frame here and he's a definitely a nice look of the G1 style or at least an upgraded basic version for him and it looks really good I do love the design for these guys Hasbro I have to admit Hasbro really stepped up in their looks for the these Titan Returns deluxes they have definitely definitely uh, been listening to us fans and saying yeah we know the collectors out there the ones mostly getting these guys so we're upgrading our look on them and I didn't fold that panel down for that but Wolfwire here has definitely nice splotches of yellow through his body which makes it look really good because this is definitely his G1 look and style he's got red for the, in, in his uh, cockpit basically here he's got the grayish paint plastic excuse me for his head and back inside as well as the blue for his legs definitely looks good it definitely is really nice I do dig these guys it is really hard again to decide which one of these of all this these waves is really my favorite and honestly now messing with all four of these I'd have to say Wolfwire is probably my least favorite and we go up from to chrome probably chrome dome just a little bit above above him and being the last two of uh, Mind Wipe and uh, oh my, my mind just went blank on who the other guy is uh, doggone it the the first you know the first Autobot we had Chrome Dome and who was the original oh crap don't you hate it when your mind freezes like that but anyway, let's get on to the figure. Uh, but right here we have Weird Wolf. And oh, I'm just going to call him Weird Wolf. It's easier. His accessories, before we get into the figure, he has this big cannon. Definitely nice homage to the G1 figure who had basically this on him. Uh, we will place that, but I want to put this aside for just a moment. Because as you can see, it does have the little basically compartment here where you can take his little partner in crime or partner Decepticon Monox uh, and place him inside you know just set him basically in there and he sits in there real nice and snug so you can store him you can actually use this kind of like a little drone if you want to or he can fly it around if you pretended to do that but you can also take it and you have two little holes right here on his back and the pegs here are going to slide right into those holes and that's basically how the cannon is supposed to go on him. 
and then you also have this gray plastic with a little bit of red right in there which actually look, makes it look pretty good of his tail slash sword weapon which is going to for storage in his wolf form it's actually going to peg right here you can see a little peg hole right here in the back side not quite down on his butt but it just slides right in and it looks really good with that all together it does bring it really out now your little tight mesher monox here you can store him inside a wolf wire do so all you gotta do is reach right here there's a little tab which of course I have no nails to get this guy open there we go it swings open and again you have the red plastic here for the basic windshield or however you want to like to describe that in there you take little monarchs here and you can just sit them in the little seat that's right there and you close them up and he's stored and he's supposed to lock there we go stored in there nice and snug and you can actually kind of see them through there in the little visor you can just put the cannon back on top again it looks really good once I straighten them out for his wolf mode now one thing about his wolf mode you do have the same bit of articulation in the limbs for normal for a wolf but you also have a little bit of swivel here for the head itself the mouth does not open well to take it back it does open up you got some nice teeth here or with the red plastic in there which looks really good for it very very nice they didn't really have to do that but it does look really good but why don't we go ahead and transform wolf wire into his robot mode to show off how he looks in that first of all take his cannon off which I'll kick back into focus slide his sword out of his backside there or we'll open up this panel here to get Monox out of the way and we'll set him aside and what you want to do first is you have right here basically this whole compartment you're going to basically raise this up this section this gray bit here it slides up as you can see there's two tabs right here in this general area and you're going to slide this section up it's going to fold up basically and you got two more peg holes basically right in here it's going to line up and just slide right down in there once you get this lined up it is kind of easier to straighten out the legs a little bit to help it out click give you some little bit more clearance but you'll just slide that up there and it locks right in as you hear it slid right in and locks into place you will then close this back up and basically that's it for the body part next we want to straighten his legs out here you will go ahead and rotate uh, his foot right here around like so and you can go ahead uh, unfold this to form his foot we'll do the same on this side fold that out rotate it around at the ankle you will then reach up here and grab this section here and it's going to just fold down over the bottom and kind of lock into place basically becoming his new shin for that it's going to cover up the basically what it does is it locks up this ball joint right here rotate that down locks into place and here we have him already standing once you straighten him up but you then rotate this down right here at the basically the hit, uh, elbow area you're going to rotate that around you're going to fold the paw back up into the back of the hand or the wrist straighten that arm up and you'll just simply open the panel up right here which of course is going to if I can get it out fold out his hand you can lock it into place and you close the panel back up do the same on this side rotate it right here at the elbow around flip the base of the paw up fold that up I'll open that up excuse me not fold it up you got to roll this down fold that up highbrow that was the guy I was trying to think of now that I think of it highbrow but uh, we'll straighten his body up some more and we still got this part to deal with which all you do is basically reach up here you unpeg that you know, because it pegs in right here to the back of the neck basically of it and folds back up to his back giving a little bit of a backpack and basically there we have wolf wire in his body but before we put uh, little monox here on here we're going to show, I'm going to show off a couple of things 
he does have a hidden compartment on his chest uh, it's not I don't think it's normally supposed to do this but you reach up here as you saw I did that there's a panel right here that you can pull open and you have a hidden compartment basically there there's a tab here that you know it pegs into everything and you basically have an extra little seat base it looks like if you had a little mini really small figure you can probably sit them in there and then you have an extra little peg hole here where you can basically if you really wanted to you can do that it does look weird but you can do something like that uh, but it's a nice little store or not really storage but a little hidden chamber or whatnot you could if you actually had a small you really want to put like a little dark matrix or even a matrix in there like a real small one you can set that in here probably pretty nice little addition but you can just fold this up clamp it back shut and then let's get monox here into Wolfwire's head mode again it's a nice blue paint it's the same basic blue as what he has for his arms and legs he's got the gray of course he's got no real head he's got the head swivel and stuff on there but it also doesn't have no real hell of paint I, I still kind of wish they'd paint these guys just a little bit but again this is the Hasbro version so they ain't gonna give into little details like that next all you gotta do is fold this up to form his head which it does have a really nice head sculpt the head sculpts are improved on these I do kind of wish they maybe put some I do believe he was all red in the face but I kind of wish they put a little bit in there just to kind of distinct it out a little bit more maybe put a little lighter shade for the visor or whatnot just to do it but all you do again you take the head and you just peg in to the top of the of wolf wire's body and here we have them linked up and ready you can take his gun we'll give him his gun and his left hand which to do this you can do it one of two ways you can peg it in into his hand like so with the pegs on the side which isn't too shabby it does kind of give you a little bit more to it in that that form but it is recommended that you do it this way mostly because it does sort of cover up the hand oh as you can see it does kind of not sit too well in there it is kind of, well, see, if you don't set it just right, it is loose, or it can be loose. Uh, I'm not really sure, but why, but mine, if you can, as you can see, there's a, the peg here is the rigger peg, but then you have the extra little bits here, which kind of throws it off when you stick it in your hand, so you can't really stick it all the way down. So that is one key thing to remember on that. The sword, of course, you can just slide it right into his hand without a problem and here we have wolf wire ready for battle and again as I mentioned this guy has to be probably I had I, now you know what I'm gonna say he's my third favorite chrome dome I have to admit is probably my least favorite he wolf wire I think beats him out but not by a ton uh, but he's still pretty oops sorry he's still a pretty good figure uh, right above that, I have to go with Mind Wipe as my second favorite, and Higher Brawl is my absolute favorite. Uh, though I think those two are really the closest in competition. I mean, I think Higher Brawl just barely, like beats up by like half a point, maybe a decibel, in percentage wise for figure wise. But that's it for this video review, guys. This is Weird Wolf or Wolf Wire. Um, sadly, we cannot. You cannot pick any of these guys up from PompToys.net just yet, but uh, you can check your local places if you like or whatnot. But I do recommend you still go into PompToys.net because when you go to Prime Toys, you can use one of two codes this month, and for the one code for the rest of the year or whatnot. But for this month only, if you use the code Transmissions30, that's Transmissions three zero you can get 30% off your order of all in-stock products. That means anything that has an in-stock, you can get 30% off of it. Or if you don't want to do that, you can easily just type in the code TRANSMISSIONS and get 10% off your Transformers products. I highly recommend you doing that. Uh, the 30 code works wonders. Uh, if you want to do that, because definitely pick it up because you can get some nice deals on there for it's basically like I said before it's a clearance sale he's basically trying to get rid of some of his inventory 
to kind of clean up where he because he's going to reinvenivate the site and everything so but it, it's definitely worth using and note you cannot use both codes at the same time so you can't try to try the 30 percent off code and then use the 10 percent off code to try to get 40 percent off it ain't gonna work uh, but that being said please like comment and share this video and if you haven't done so please subscribe and be sure to check out the transmissions podcast if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have those codes from Prime Toys because they are also sponsored by PrimeToys.net. They're actually sponsored by PrimeToys.net first. So definitely check them out as well. They're a great group of group of, uh, four player guys who love talking Transformers and it, they're just a great group of guys to listen to. I'll have links to both of those down below. But once again, guys, please like it, comment, and share this video. If you haven't done so, please subscribe. And this is Tom Bot saying thanks for watching and I hope to hear from you soon.